Welcome back to ABC Action News at 530, everyone. I'm Paul Legrone. Well, tonight, the USF football program kicks off its 25th season when they travel up to Raleigh to take on NC State at 730. The Wolfpack sports anchor Kevin Lewis showing us the young program that's had its ups and downs but appears to have a bright future. Blue blood programs of college football, Florida, Florida State, Clemson, Alabama, have each been around for more than a century. USF approved football in 1995, played its first game in 97. Now their overall resume is stacked, even though it doesn't have that many pages. The Bulls still building an identity after a start that looked a lot like the Wild West. Well, we weren't regulated by the NCAA at the time. Um, so, you know, coaches took advantage of that and we had two days, I, I mean, for like two months, right, in, in the spring when now they can have like 10 practices or I don't even know what it is. Marshall Smith was a linebacker on the first USF team where they had modest accommodations. We had a great locker room that was in the dungeon, what they called it, in the bottom of the sun dome, and we didn't know any better. Like, we thought it was amazing. Coach told us it was the best locker room in the country, and we believed him. Smith told me only a handful of players even owned cell phones, and there was no social media to see what everyone else had. Now, everyone gets to show off their state-of-the-art digs. You know, I myself, along with the rest of the alumni, are completely jealous, but, uh, you know, we love it. I mean, it's amazing. It's something that helps us and our program elevate ourselves to the next level. Damn, you got fireworks. The Bulls started from scratch on September 6th, 1997, playing their first real game against Kentucky Wesleyan. We knew the crowd was going to be good, so, you know, 49,000, but we could see that coming. I, you know, I got there really early, and I was shocked to see people tailgating. Grilling hamburgers, I didn't, it hadn't even occurred to me that that was going to be part of it. Nobody could have predicted that score, so it was just a, a wonderful first evening and a, and a great way to start. USF found more success in a short window. Led by quarterback Matt Grothy, the 2007 team was ranked as high as number two and started a run that included wins over a who's who in college football. To get anywhere noticed, you're going to need to play against those big, big time teams that have been around forever. And if you know, if you can get happen to play well and knock some of them off, it's it's only going to help that much more. Just to continue to watch it grow is is always fun to see and know that I was part of it all. Kayvon Webster played on the 2011 squad that stunned Notre Dame 23 to 20, where Webster's scoop and score set the tone in South Bend. Without Jarrell Young, it wouldn't happen. You know, he caused the strip. You know, I just I grabbed it. I just. For the school, it'd be Clemson, it'd be Miami, yeah, it'd be Florida Miami. State. Right, you've been a part of these. Big, yeah, big I've been a few so. schools here. Yeah. To rebuild and beat a few more schools, the Bulls look like they have the right head coach for the job. You see a team being vibrant. You see a team being energetic, and that's what one of the things that Mike Kelly hired Jeff Scott for: his energy, uh, the the vibe that he brings to the program. I think when in recruiting, that's something that the players in this area want to be a part of, uh, having a chance to. Uh, you know, leave their legacy and uh, build on the foundation of, of those that were before us. Talking about actual foundations and buildings, the Bulls are scheduled to break ground on a new indoor performance facility next Wednesday. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.